How does a 16-year-old junior in high school manage to be a full-time student athlete, a high honor roll student, a student pilot, an instrumentalist, and be involved with nonprofits and multiple projects? Well, I don't really know either, but that's what we're talking about in this video coming up. Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's video and like you probably saw by the title, we are talking about time management, which is absolutely critical as you are starting your aviation journey when you are young and in high school. Now I target this video towards high school students because in college your schedule is going to be built around your flying if you are going to a university for aviation. If you are going for something else and pursuing your ratings on the side, then this video may also appeal to you just as much as it may a high school student. So first, I'd like to say that by no means this is me trying to flex what I get done because I am no means by perfect, I make a lot of mistakes. This is simply me sharing my schedule, which I believe to be pretty busy, and hopefully helping you with managing your time and being able to do the things you want to do and still fly and still achieve the goals you have set for yourself as a young pilot. So a normal day for me starts around uh, 6 to 6.30 in the morning, depending on if I have zero period gym or not. I will uh, then be in school by either 7.30 or 8.30, depending again if I have zero period gym and I will go through my school day just like everybody else. Uh, I'm a current full-time high school student and I am in AP classes, I have honors classes, so I am busy at school and that leaves me with about an hour to two hours of homework each night. So that's already a big portion of my day. I'm already busy until about 3.10 at school. Then I go to sports. So I'm on the golf team at my school and I also play basketball. So after school, I go right to those and I really don't get home till 5.30 to 6.30 and later some nights if we have games or matches. So then outside of school, I'm also the president of my school's technology club and I am currently working on a project that I've previously mentioned on the channel, and that is to build a full immersion flight simulator. And our goal with that is to hold some seminars and have it as a resource for people in high school to go to so that you can explore aviation without going and spending an immense amount of money up at the airport, you could get that same or close to the same experience and not pay a dime. So I'm super excited about that project, but building that whole thing takes a lot of time. We've been working on it. We've had some obstacles we've overcome. We've had a ton of people helping us. So it's going to be super cool to see that come together. On top of Tech Club, like I've also talked about on this channel, I'm involved with the nonprofit organization Young Aviators, which brings awareness to aviation. And our mission, like this channel, is to inspire the the next generation of pilots and mechanics and aviation professionals. So I'm also busy doing that. Yet another extracurricular activity I do is I am a saxophonist. I play the saxophone for my school. I also compete in various competitions in the area and I'm busy preparing music for that as well. And lastly, of course, I am a student pilot. I've been flying now for over a year and I have about 80 hours of flight time. Uh, I have my check ride scheduled in less than two months, which you know I'm a little nervous about, as I'm sure most of you uh, approaching your private pilot check ride are as well. So that is definitely just another thing that I have to study for. And you may be wondering, how the heck do you do this? So I've gone through everything I do. Let's get into how I actually do it. So time management, obviously it's, it's super important. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff if I wasn't able to properly manage my time. So basically it's discipline, setting priorities for yourself and being able to look at a week and plan out your entire week almost by the minute and say, I'm gonna do this from six to seven, and this from seven to 7.30, and this from 7.30 to 8.30, and this from 8.30 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10, then I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta wake up early again and do that again, four days more, because there's five days in the school week. And then I get most of my work done for YouTube, 
and I fly most of the time during the school year on the weekends. So when I'm busy with school, sports, and all that good stuff during the week, I'm busy with the nonprofit, the project at the school, and being a student pilot on the weekend. So I definitely don't have a lot of time to breathe because I have so many things going on, but it's well worth it because all the things I'm doing are things that I enjoy. They're progressing me with my career and my life overall, so I'm happy to be busy like that. Now, going along with the theme of setting priorities, it's important to not forget some core things when you do schedule yourself uh, basically every day, all day, and that is your health, of course, your mental health, your physical health. It's super important to always you know, be working out, be healthy, eating good, uh, meal prepping if you don't have time to make food every day, and just doing things that are good for your body. Stress relief is huge, especially with school and difficult classes. It could get super overwhelming, and probably the number one thing that helps me is to focus on smaller goals at a time. Take one day at a time, sometimes one period, or one flight, or one study session at a time. If I personally look at an entire day, or an entire week, or you know, an entire month or two months, that will stress me out a ton. So something that helps me a lot is to set smaller goals and achieve those. If you look at the big picture, you're gonna say, oh my God, I have all this stuff to do. How am I gonna do it? And that's just not good. So the key things to take away from this video is time management is all about setting your priorities and being disciplined. You may get motivated to start something and if you truly enjoy it, then you will have that motivation inside of you to continue. For example, flying for me is never a hassle or a chore. I always enjoy flying, I always enjoy studying for flying because I know that it's going towards my future and I'm doing what I love to do. Now, AP classes on the other hand, well, I'm not as passionate about those. So it comes more to discipline where I know I have to do it and get the job done in order to do what I wanna do in my life. So you just have to make that decision and keep yourself disciplined because the motivation will run out eventually with the things you don't like and maybe the things you do like too. So that is all I have for you this week. I hope that that can help you somehow, some way with managing your time if you are a high school student and you know maybe now you know that you're not the only crazy one uh, that's super busy. So let me know down below in the comments how you manage your time to be able to be a student pilot and maybe a student in high school or college at the same time. I'd be super interested to hear techniques and strategies that you use and how you go about planning out your days and weeks in order to achieve your goals. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want more content like this, then go down below, click that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. Help keep producing these videos. And if you enjoyed this specific video, then make sure to drop a like. That's the best way that I know you liked it. So until next week, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, and keep the blue side up. Keep flying safe, everybody, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.